Hey YouTube, what's up? Lee here to bring you some Mega Colony. Bugs. Yeah. Dylander Chan will be helping me with this deck profile. Is it really a reprint if the art is better? I mean, is it a misprint, you mean? Yeah. I mean, technically, because they still have to give this art to Miracle Cutie when she comes out, but <laughs> that Dylander Chan can borrow it for a while. Uh, so, starter. No surprises there. We've been doing this all day. Is there really a surprise at this point? This is technically one of the two decks that could run another card as a starter. Um, because you do have the option to run uh, Cicada and call it out with uh, Stag Beetle. But it's just too inconsistent a combo. It, it would save me some cards in the main deck, but I don't know what I would be spending those card slots on. Um except for one particular grade 3, which I don't like, which we'll get into when the time comes. Uh, so, we got four copies of Spark Hercules. Uh, really awesome card. That negative 5k actually comes in handy way more than you would think. Uh, it's interesting, uh, a lot of times you A, force opponents to reset their board, B, totally neuter their columns, or C, if you're playing against Deep Police, you just shut down their boss card. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, I've seen that matchup. Which, that is that is one matchup that is hilarious in this deck. Because you do just get to say, no, 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 you don't get effects. Uh, next up, we got four copies of Stag Beetle. Uh, really awesome grade three. Calls you cards, gets you pluses. Very necessary in the deck right now. Never underestimate this card. I see a lot of Bugs players always ride this first. I have seen players ride this first. I prefer to just get on Spark Hercules and stay on Spark Hercules and then call this to Rear Guard. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, I'm not going to say it's wrong just to plus out, especially if you're trying to go for a more grinding game. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not, uh, because as you will notice, I am not playing Antlion. Um, I don't like that card. I don't believe it's very good. I know it helps a lot with the OTT matchup, and if you want to try and play long in this deck, it's very helpful. But just just the idea of having a card that is dead in anything but late game is very annoying to me. Not, not only dead, but actively detrimental to you. Uh, so... Going into the Grade 2s, we have two copies of Water Dang. Uh, I have seen some people question this card, um, mainly people who don't play the deck, because if you play the deck, you know that this, first off, there's not a lot of other good Grade 2 options. Second off, getting some early game out with this can be super helpful. Uh, third, it helps you dig for your pieces. Next up, we have the card with one of the most annoying wordings possible, because you have to counter blast before you know if you're getting the grade three. What the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, I know it gets 6k, but who the hell's paying one counter blast for 6k? So th this is obviously in here for the search. You really want to try and get to, uh, no, no, well, you want to try and dig extra copies of this and get that to ride. So you're often just going to be digging through your grade, th digging through your cards to see if you can get those grade threes to hand. Thin the deck out. Also thinning deck, kind of helpful. Uh, next up, we have an absolute staple four of Bloody Hercules. Uh, scales to 23, always great. Gets you on flips, always great. Gives other things powers, usually pretty good. Um... This this probably has the best wording in the whole deck because that on hit A works as a vanguard or a rear guard, B works even if it hits rear guards, and C unflips. They are very crucial in this deck. Because all the standard decks don't have them like royals. Uh yeah, and a lot of the ones that do have them don't have good ones, which is kind of another reason why Hercules is so amazing, because Soul Blast for a 23k column is pretty good, and then you also have the option to make another column into a 23k column after the unflip, so 
really awesome all-around card. Uh, then we have four copies of Machining Hornet. This is a really awesome Vanguard ride when you go second, because uh, you can search your grade three and not take a minus for it. Um, other than that, it's uh, just a good, solid AK booster. And again, helps you get at those grade threes that are really crucial. Then we have Spiteful Hopper. Just a heads up, if you guys don't know the ruling on this one, the Soul Blast is specifically for the 6k. You get the counter charge whether or not you want to pay that. Um, so this is basically like a grade 1 version of Bloody Hercules, but it doesn't have to hit for the exchange of only working if you have no face-up damage, which still pretty good. <laughs> Next up, a card I tried to run less of, couldn't get away with it. This card is way better than it looks at first glance. Uh, small Captain Butterfly Officer. Rest her, give something 10, and at the end of turn, slip that into Soul Countercharge. Damn it, now I'm saying it. <laughs> so, not only does she help with your aggressive turns, because you can stand her back up with uh, uh, Spark, Spark Hercules, she also gets you more on flips, which are crucial in this deck because of uh, Spark Hercules' huge cost. And she puts things in soul, <laughs> makes your stag beetles more useful. That's it's it's really the first two parts that you really like, because uh, this thing probably nets you on flips faster than either of the other two on flippers because you don't have to be at uh, no face up, and she doesn't have to hit. So, the one annoying thing is that the resting her is a cost, uh, so if you call it out with Stag Beetle, you can't use it, unfortunately. Next up, a uh, card that may see some controversy. I'm running three copies of Jocular Cicada. Uh, the answer to why is because he's funny. <laughs> I like it. It's it's a funny card. I got it to 125k and numbers around that multiple times. It's it's just a fun card to play with. And uh, and some triggers. What kind of triggers? Uh, I got a yellow one and a green one and a red one. Is this a crit for draw for heal? Yes, it is 8 crit, 4 draw, 4 heal. This is not an Excel clan. I do not have an option. You could run 6 draws. The draws aren't good. They're just not good. Alright, uh, you're probably knowing where this is going. Matchups? Uh, we talked about the Dimension Police matchup. That's pretty good. That's uh, hilarious, actually. Yeah. Uh, I haven't played against Aqua Force yet, but I imagine you can scum it. Um, it's bad against Kagero. Um, That's a surprise, actually. Eh. I mean, well, it's bad against Kagero if you're not drawing your Stag Beetles. Mm -hmm. If you do draw your Stag Beetles, you kind of don't care. But if you don't draw those Stag Beetles, then you don't really have a way to replace the resources on board. And without the resources on board, your effects don't mean that much. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all sort of dependent on draw in that matchup. Other than that, um, the way I've built it in particular isn't very good against, uh, say, OTT, but if you do build the Antlion build, uh, it's much better against OTT, because you have uh, that Sentinel stopping. Um, I don't know. There's, it, it, it's a very straight line deck, so there's not a lot of like good and bad in terms of matchups. It's just sort of always going to do what it wants to do, and it's just how well do you draw, how well does your opponent draw, etc. That's standard right now. <sighs> Some people could I argue mean, it's a stale format right now, but eh, I it's just, the so that's one of those things that comes just down to what do you expect out of your card game, and I'm sure. 
that'll be a topic for an unnamed podcast show at some point. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's for another video. Anyway, bug bye.